Hello everyone, it's Abmi Briars and I'm starting off in the model room today just to show you how much my collection seems to have grown recently. And the reason I'm making this video is because I've actually had to change the way I basically manage my collection now I have this many horses in my show string. So previously I was just having kind of written records for the models, so I was just writing down their photo show placings but there's just been too many of them to keep track of really <laughs> and I know that says a lot about me but essentially I've just been finding it hard to keep up with photo shows. I also have a mini show string as well as the traditional so as you can see there's quite a few stable mates here so my show string is over a hundred horses easily so I've had to come up with a way of managing the collection that's not just writing down written records which is what I was doing before and I was getting quite behind with sort of photo show results and placings and things. So I've had a complete overhaul and I thought today I'd show you how I'm managing this lot and how I'm keeping top of my photo show records because I think this is a really interesting area. Every collector will do this differently, but I think this method is really nice. So if you're not sure about how to manage your collection, maybe you want to do something similar. Anyway, we'll leave the hobby room now that I've been panning around and I will go and show you how I'm managing this big collection. Okay, so I've moved over to my computer and I've opened up um, Microsoft Excel where I have a spreadsheet that is dedicated to my models. So this is the traditionals um, sheet. I also have one for the stable mates. And what I have is this big table of contents and each of these models, their show name is there and it hyperlinks through to their own sheet within this spreadsheet. So here, for example, I have all that jazz. So my models will always have their name at the top on the sheet and um, there'll be a color coordination box. So this color actually represents that they show in the custom division. Some of my models, they'll have a different color for if they're in the pony division, for OF or draft, etc. So I color code it a little bit. I usually put in some information about the model. So if this is an OF model, it's usually what model it was, how many were made, but this is a custom, breed, and then sex. And then I have a column for show name, so the show's names popped there. We have a column for their placing and then the class that they were in. The number of horses in class is something that I find quite interesting to record. I think it just gives you an idea of how big the class was. So for example, if you placed first out of 52, that's a really big class. Um, if you placed four out of five horses, not the best placing. Just gives you a little bit of an indicator. Um, not all shows will report how many horses were in the class, but most do, so I think it's quite nice to have. Then we have the date of the show. Um, this is for if you show in the International Photo Show League, whether it was a qualifier or not, and then the platform, so sort of Facebook, Instagram, or MHPS in my case, the ones that I tend to show on. And then the green is actually a code I use internally myself. It just means the horse came first or second um, in an international photo show league qualifier class it's something that i just find when i came to do this year's show i struggle to keep track of all the horses that qualify so i'm trying this to see if that helps and i also have on here a little button that says return to context so this hyperlinks back to the contents so i can easily move in and out of different horses so you can see this is another model this is an of model yellow is for the draft horses and um, the OFs, he's got what model he is, so Fox Valley Oliver, the years he was produced, that he's a regular run. Um, it's just a nice way, I think, to keep all your show information in one place. As I say, I was struggling with writing up show results. It was taking me hours to flick through a folder, find the horse, whereas this is really quick to put in your results. You literally would just, as you got the photo show results, I would basically go to this contents, click on the horses he's placed and enter their results onto the uh, the worksheet. And something also you can do on this spreadsheet, which I find is really, really helpful, is use the find tool. Now, what often happens is when I'm photo showing, I will have the results and then I might not get the ribbons for a few weeks, particularly if it's a show where I'm an international participant. Um, it can be a few weeks from results to getting the ribbons through. So I often will write up the results at the time of the show. And then when the ribbons comes, this is a brilliant tool. So if you've got Excel and you set up a spreadsheet a bit like this, essentially I click on find and replace. We just click on find. We don't want to replace anything, but you can change the settings. So usually it's automatically set to sheet, but I put it on workbook here. 
And what you can do is type in the name of the show. So for example, you know how I had that category that said show name? A really quick way to find out which model's placed in that show is if I typed in the show name. So for example, I know Spooky October is one that I have been in. I can click on find all and it will bring up all of the models that placed in that show. So this is really helpful because it means I can literally then just slot the ribbons in. And if I need to know which placing they had, I can just click on that and it will take me through. So we can see here, Aries got a second, so I could just put a second ribbon into his folder. So this is a really neat um, tool and it's the reason I like having all of these on Excel. It's super easy to set up. It did take me a long time because I have quite a few horses. So in my traditional so traditional show string, I can't talk today, I have 92 horses technically. So it took me a very long time, but once I'd got the basic format, I could just copy sheets and just change the names on them. And then I went back and entered some previous show data. So it did take me a few hours to set up these um, show records and I, because of that I would recommend if you do make a document like this having it backed up so mine's backed up onto a memory stick because if this computer was to die I, I lost this database I would be very sad about it as it's now where I'm recording all my results. But I hope that was interesting to have a look at so now I'm going to go off the computer and show you what I do with the ribbons after I've been in a photo show. Okay, so moving away from the computer, here we have my traditional show records. This is my traditional models. I do have a exactly same layout folder for my minis, but I thought since they're the same layout, I'd just show you one. I like to keep my hobby stickers on here. We've got the new Premier Club sticker on here. We're very excited for that horse to come out soon. Um, and essentially what I've got is a plastic wallet for each model and an A4 piece of paper and on that A4 piece of paper we've got their name a bit about the model so for example this is a custom and who it's by and um, we've got a bit about the breed and then the sex of the model and uh, I just slot the ribbons into each of these poly pockets so that means that they stay all nice together for the model it means that if I were to sell the model, I could literally just take out this plastic wallet and send it to the new owner, as I think it's quite nice to be able to keep the ribbons with the model and the show record with the model. I could print that out from my Excel spreadsheet if a new owner wanted it. And it just also means it's quite nice. I can flick through this folder and I can see which models are doing well, which ones aren't really placing. This guy's new, so we'll let him off. Um, but we can see kind of visually how the models are doing as well. So. It's a nice way to store the ribbons. Um, I do have a few rosettes in here, which make it a little bit bulky. I don't particularly like the rosettes in here, but I just don't know where else to keep them at the minute. And it's a really nice way to keep everything together, I think. Um, I like that it's quick, so I can just literally slot ribbons into it. I'm not having to write things down anymore. Whereas before I had a folder like this, but I was like literally writing in the results by hand and it was just taking too long to do this many models. So. I kind of like the hybrid um, computer and hard copy. Something else that's quite nice is I can keep things like BMX cards with these models. So I'm not live showing at the moment. I really want to. I really want to find a show that's close to me so I can go. But at the minute, all of them are a little bit too far or on days when I'm working, which is a bit annoying. But if I was to go live showing, I could keep the BMX cards with them. This one already came with this model. Um, and I'm also planning on keeping things like the Certificate of Authenticity in here. So I have a few Premier Club models, so it'd be quite nice to put their COAs in here. Again, just tidies everything up and means that it stays with the model. So if I were to sell the model, I know where everything is for that particular model. Um, so, yeah, this is how I'm organising my collection now. And I really like it. It's a, I think it's a nice, straightforward way of doing things. Um so yeah, let me know in the comments how you organise your collection. I absolutely love this new system. It's taken me quite a while to get it up and running. So I've been making the spreadsheet and then doing these files and moving all the ribbons over into the new files and things um, and getting the, everything all sorted. And it's probably taken me a few days to do that, just spread out in terms of time. But I think it's a really nice way to manage my collection especially now it's larger i need something that's quick i can't be spending hours writing photo show results otherwise i was just not enjoying entering photo shows because i knew i had to do the ribbons and writing them up and i just don't have time so now i've got this system 
I can relax and enjoy the photo shows a bit more. But let me know how you organise your collection. I think it's really interesting. Every hobbyist seems to have their own way of doing things. If you were interested in making a spreadsheet like I've made and you're not sure how to go about doing it, I can put together some tutorials if anyone's interested. Um, it's really straightforward and it's definitely something that I think is quite accessible, even if you're not like really good at computers. I wouldn't say I'm the best, but I managed to make the spreadsheet some scratch with just some basic knowledge. And hopefully I will see you again in another video where it'll be a bit more model orientated. But I just find things like this in the hobby fascinating. So if you have any tips or tricks for organising your own collection, then let me know in the comments and I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.